Well, hello, Schumacher. Welcome to my home. We're on lockdown and quarantined in here. And as you can see, you've caught me in my pajamas. But come on in, we'll take a little look around. So, probably the favorite of mine in this house is really my living room. Um, this room is kind of amazing because back in the 60s, when Dennis Hopper lived here, he had the first ever exhibit for Liechtenstein, Herring, and Andy Warhol here in this very room. Um, one of the things I love about this is my really beautiful Schumacher shears. I just love the stripe, I love the way it diffuses the light, and yet we still get this kind of really wonderful, slightly Moroccan flavour to it, which is one of the things I love about this house. It's got this wonderful Spanish colonial vibe that I've really amped up by, of course, the ceiling, which actually took three weeks for one guy on his back to create. The uh, wonderful tile, the Moroccan Zilij tile, which I had imported from Tangier and added to this, the original 1920s fireplace. And of course, some of these super fun fabrics. Now, apart from my wonderful Schumacher silk sofas, I bought these fantastic, this is Daisy, hello beauty. I'm actually sitting in her spot. But these pillows are wonderful Moroccan pillows that I decided were a little bit too the same. So I added this fantastic Schumacher fringe to them, giving them a bit more of a tribal vibe and a bit more of a vibe that I felt worked with this space. So another favorite thing of mine and daisies are these amazing Maison Janssen trees. They're these wonderful brass lamps from the 1970s. And I just love this whole kind of, you know, again, it's an exotic flavor, but it's so fun and it's vintage edge. And I think really helps add something to the house. That juxtaposition with some of my collection of Herbert's photography, I think makes, you know, the room kind of fun. But I'm gonna show you the real fun room which is where Michael, my partner, and I have been spending most of our quarantine time, the movie room. So, my movie room, my little mini screening room. I love this space. Not only is it a space where we get to enjoy movies and it's really cosy, it's also got such fantasy to it. You know, I use these really fun Schumacher fabrics, these wonderful e-caps to tent the room. Um, I used two of them, one which we cut as bands and boarded the room and made the sofa out of. The other one obviously we worked onto the walls and then actually took almost a month to cut and sew all of this to get the perfect tent onto the ceiling. Actually took two goes. But um, I love the way it's turned out. So, if you were a guest to come stay with me, this would be your room. Um, it's got this wonderful, inviting desert rose, I think it's called, this fantastic colour on the walls, which is actually a, a Benjamin Moore paint. And it's such a beautiful colour, it makes everybody look rosy and well and fantastic, which is something we can do with right now as we're not going out. But great room because it's got such a pretty vista of the garden through it. Um, one of the other things that I love is I use this beautiful embroidery. It's a Schumacher fabric that actually comes as a large stripe. And we cut it and made lampshades out of it, which of course diffuses the white light beautifully and gives, again, some more texture, a little bit more of that moroccan -y vibe to this space. But the best part of this room has got to be this bathroom. So this space is actually in this fantastic turret. And the turret starts downstairs and comes up. And back in the day when Tina Turner lived in this house, this is where she and Ike recorded because the acoustics were so great. Really fun stripes on the wall. Again, giving that sort of Moroccan vibe, but a little bit more of a modern flavor. Mixed with a super fun hip bath. And let's face it, what guest doesn't love a bath when they come and stay? And when you get to lie in this tub, you look out the window and you see beautiful views of downtown Los Angeles. And welcome to my bedroom. This really is my sanctuary. It's kind of the place where I really get to chill out in this house. I just love it. Um, 
Particularly, I love the fact that I've got incredible greenery that is surrounding me through these windows. It kind of feels a bit like I'm in a treehouse. And then at night you get all the incredible lights of Los Angeles, which is really a very fun thing. I designed the bed, custom made it for the space. Um, it's made out of uh, ceruzed black oak and brass. And of course, again, a little bit of fantastic fabric used at the back from Schumacher. Super fun lampshades, again, add a bit of texture, make it feel a little bit more original. I always think that a lampshade is, is, is a place where, you know, a lot of people forget about lampshades. They just get regular white ones. Why not make them fun? Why not make a design statement out of them? The rug actually originally belonged to Andy Warhol. It was on the floor of the uh, factory in New York. And we had it cut down and reshaped for this room. And it just adds such a fun element, especially with that great history and the fact that Andy Warhol used to stay in this house a lot. Um, kind of gives a little bit of that back in. I also added this arch, this wonderful Moroccan arch, which I think really highlights some of the architecture that goes throughout the house and leads through into my bathroom. But we'll save that for another day. Well, actually, my dining room now has become my home office, so excuse the mess, but it was essential. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you part of the dining room, which is another moment of kind of fun playing around with design. My curtains. This fantastic Schumacher fabric, which I love because it's got all these wonderful little textural bits of uh, cotton coming through it. But I actually decided to make it blend in with the room and give a little bit more interest. I added two colors of a plain stock linen from Schumacher. A band of the, of the kind of teal green and a band of the forest green, which have added real interest. And I particularly love it though, because you know people are often would be scared of mixing texture and a plain. But somehow this has given real magic to these curtains and added, I think, some very nice level to this room. It's really given it interest. So we're going to finish that little tour in uh, the room I've been spending rather more time in the normal the last few days. My home bar. <coughs> Why not, right? Enjoy the pleasures of home right now while we can. So you guys, live, love and decorate.